Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video here, you are going to learn how to really fix this annoying issue in Windows 10 where it says critical error, start menu and Cortana not working. This is a really annoying issue because it prevents you from getting your things done on your Windows 10 PC. But the good news is there are many ways that you can fix this issue. So in this video, we are going to learn the different ways that you can fix this issue on your Windows 10 PC. So now the first method, which is a good way to fix this, one of the first ways that you can use to fix this is by scanning for corrupted files and then fixing them. And so you can do that through the command prompt. But as you know, with this problem, there are many parts of Windows 10 that you can't access because of this error. So what you're going to do, you're going to create a folder. So go to the desktop and you're going to right click an empty space in the desktop, an empty spot. So right click and then hover the cursor on new and then click where it says folder. Okay. So right click hover the cursor on new and click where it says folder. And here, here you go. I just created a new folder. There it is. And so now double click this folder to open it. And here it is. And so now here is the folder. So what you're going to do, go to the top right, top left corner, top left, sorry. Go to the top left corner of the folder. Then click where it says file. And then hover the cursor on command prompt and then click where it says open command prompt as administrator. Very important. Okay. And then what you're going to do, you're going to type this command. Okay. So SFC slash scan now. And by the way, this command, I will include it in the video description. So you can copy it from there and paste it to the command prompt. So you don't have to memorize this. And so after doing this, click and press enter. Okay, and so Windows will, will, will start doing a scan and this scan should take around 20 minutes, 30 minutes to, to get done. And so once it is done at, at 100%, once it is completed, you can restart your computer. And most likely, most likely, this will fix your problem. Okay, as you can see, it says another servicing or repair operation is currently running. That's because I already did this and I didn't restart yet. That's why it's saying that. But it should show you 10%, 20%. And once it is done, restart your PC. It'll tell you when it's done. And most likely this will work. So now what if it doesn't work? Well, here's another method to fix this. What you can do, you can restart Windows Explorer. Windows Explorer is basically uh, the, the feature that displays your graphical, the graphical overlays in your folders and so on on Windows. And so if you restart that, it may fix this issue. Just may just it may fix it. Maybe. And so to do to restart Windows Explorer, you're going to have to open the task manager. And to do that you're going to hold control, hold alt and then press delete. So control alt delete in your keyboard. Okay. Alright and this should bring out the task manager. Now if the task manager looks like this, this small box right here, click where it says more details. All right. And then it should bring this full window right here that shows all of the processes running. And so under where it says apps, right click on Windows Explorer, right click. So right click Windows Explorer and then click restart and then click restart and if you do this this may fix your issue this may fix it all right and so what if this too doesn't work well here's a third method which is really really effective really really effective you can do a system restore so basically how does this work well a system restore as, as its name describes involves restoring your computer back to an earlier time Say for example, the computer um, had this issue yesterday. This, this issue started yesterday. 
So what you can do is restore your computer back to several days ago before this issue and this will fix the problem most likely. Most likely it will fix this. So system restore is really effective. And so to do that, all you have to do, you're going to, you're going to open a new folder again that you just created. Open a new folder that you just created. And here it is. And so click file right here. And then over the cursor on, command, on command prompt and then click as click open command prompt as administrator. Same thing again. All right. And so right now, right here, you're going to type RS T R U I dot E X E. Again, you don't have to memorize this. I will include all of this in the video description. After doing that, press enter. All right. And so this will bring up the system restore utility. As you can see, it says system restore can help fix problems that might be making your computer run slowly or stop responding. All right. And it guarantees you it does not affect your files, documents, pictures, and so on. So really, really good. So click next. All right. And now this is what I was talking about. Suppose that this issue started yesterday. What you want to do is restore your computer back before yesterday, before this issue started. And so after clicking next, if you click on where it says show more store points, it will show you more dates. And so you want, you want to make sure you choose the date before the issue got started. Okay. And then click a date, click next, and then click finish. And then restore Windows window, system restore will restore your PC back to that point. And most likely this will fix your issue. Okay. Now, say for example, that problem has been there for a while and the system restore cannot restore your computer back to all to, to that point. Well, what you can do now, it might be this, it may be uh, that this problem is caused by the fact that you have an antivirus program on your computer. You know, sometimes people have a tendency to install uh, Avast, Avira, Norton, Kaspersky, McAfee, all these antivirus programs. Sometimes these programs cause confusion with Windows Defender and it causes Windows to crash. So what you can do, you can remove uh, the, your antivirus. Okay, don't worry too much about this because Windows already comes with an antivirus. So to do that, what you can do, you're going to open the folder that you just created. You're going to open the command prompt again. Same process. Click file. Over on open command prompt and select open command prompt as administrator. And this time you're going to type app with that cpl app with that cpl again one last time you don't have to memorize all of this it will be included in the video description okay i put that cpl and then press enter and then this will this will show you all of the programs you have installed on your computer and so what you can what you're going to do you're going to look for your antivirus program like evas avira kaspersky mcafee eset not 32 uh, there are many of them. Uh, look for it right here in this list. Uh, select it by clicking on it and then click uninstall. All right. And so if it was indeed the antivirus program, this should fix this issue right here. And let's say all fails. No matter what you do, you just can't fix this issue. Well, what you can do if nothing wants to work, what you can do is that you can restore your computer um, back to the way it was when you first had it. You can do a complete factory reset, like completely refresh everything. You can do that by bringing the safe mode or you can do that to the desktop. So I will include links that shows how to do this. Okay. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.